Hey, Aplea, are you bored? Bored of not being able to see your friends in person or even just interact with them like you normally would at school? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly what you could do to stay in touch with your friends, to interact with them during this whole quarantine social distancing thing that we're going through. This is the Just Beats. You're watching the Just Beats. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single week I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if you want to learn and grow, hit the subscribe button and make sure to click on the notification bell. Look, you are not alone from feeling cooped up in your house, not being able to go out and see your friends and to hang out with them. We're all experiencing that together right now, but there are a few things you can do to kind of get through this moment and still be social with other people. The first thing you can do is actually the simple List. Set up a video group chat with you and a bunch of your friends. Now, don't just randomly jump on. Set an actual time for all of you guys to get there, so it's easier for people to plan it in their day. Maybe they have homework or chores or other things they have to do at home, but if you have a set schedule time, it's easier to have everyone on that call. Making it a consistent thing that you can do every night or every week is going to give you something to look forward to. And you might be thinking, well, what do I talk to my friends with if I'm not going out, if I'm not really experiencing the world? Just fill them in on what's actually going on in your life. Sometimes it's okay to just talk to your friends about how you're scared or you're annoyed or you're bored just sitting at home. Sharing those feelings with your friends is going to be the best outlet for you, especially when you have to stay cooped up inside. When it comes to sharing your feelings with your friends though, sometimes the group chat isn't the best way to do it. So you should also set up one-on-one -on -one video chats with your closest friends. Sometimes having that individual time allows you guys to get deeper and more real with what you're actually feeling because you don't have an audience watching and listening to what you're saying. I think with everything going on in the world right now, this is the perfect time to reconnect with people we haven't talked to in a long time. Maybe it's your old friend, or maybe it's a crush that you have. Either way, take time to reach out to people individually, give them that due time to just talk to you about what's going on in their life, and just learn more about them. Because what can easily happen is that once you stop reaching out to people, asking them how they're doing, trying to video chat with them, you're gonna start to feel like, well, no one's reaching out to me, so why would I even bother? And that just kind of creates creates this regressive loop where you just become more and more enclosed, not talking to anyone. So you have to break out of your comfort shell a little bit and reach out to people instead. Next, to prevent your group video chats from just becoming the same thing every single day, try to work on something with your friends. Maybe all of you can play Minecraft together and build something online, or you can work on a music piece and just kind of share different notes and things with each other that you're working on. Either way, use this time to be creative with your friends. That's going to allow you guys to kind of find new things to do every single day and to look forward to. One thing I would recommend doing just for the fun of it is to start a collaboration channel with you and your friends. Each of you can take turns uploading a video every single day about what's going on in your life, your thoughts on things. Heck, you can even take some of the topics I talk about and share your own experiences with it. And I know you probably already still have a lot on your plate. You have a lot more chores to do since you're home all the time. Your school's probably giving you tons and tons of homework because they don't really know how to handle online learning just yet. Either way, having this creative outlet that you can share with your friends is going to keep you sane in this time and it's going to prevent you from actually just becoming flat out bored. And for some of you, you might not really have a close group of friends that you can talk to and interact with, so what do you do? Well, I would highly recommend joining the Josh Speaks community. This is a group of people that I've put together on Discord that are just working on being their best selves. It's a great place to make friends, to share ideas, and to interact with other people that are like-minded. They really want to grow and learn in life. So check out the link for I'm going to link it up over here. I'd love to have you as a part of our amazing community. But that's not the only one. There are tons of awesome communities built around fandoms, around things that you like. Whether you love sports or a TV show or anime, whatever it is, find the community out there for you with people that you can interact with that are like-minded, that like the same things. That's a good way to create new friendships and to find friend groups that you never would have thought of before. Feeling bored because you can't see your friends is probably not the only experience that you're having. There are going to be days where you feel angry and annoyed and confused and scared about everything that you're hearing. I know I've been experiencing that a lot. So the best thing you can do is to talk to your family members about that. Let them know what you're going through. Let them know what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Your feelings are always mentionable and manageable. And there are people out there that care about you and want to help you through this crazy, crazy time. 
I'm curious though, what do you think? How are you interacting with your friends during this whole quarantine period? Are you video chatting with them? Do you have a group chat going? Do you interact on Snapchat or Instagram? Leave your comments down below and let me know. Sharing your ideas might help inspire someone else to reach out to their friends in the exact same way. Talking to your friends when you're in quarantine is pretty tough, but dating can feel even harder when you're supposed to be social distancing. So how do you date during these times? I want you to check out the video over there on the side where I break down how you can make dating an actual reality for you. Also, definitely join our Josh Speaks community. Like I said, it's a great place to make friends, to interact with others, to share ideas that you have, and a great way to stay sane during these crazy, crazy times. On that note, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace. Stay safe out there.